my goal for today is to install these Renogy panels that I purchased for a different project, the Dreamboat project. I'm not sure how far on this project I'll get today because I kind of feel like I have a cold. Spring has sprung here in Texas and everything is leafing out. The birds are chirping, uh, the flowers are blooming, and I feel like I need a snorkel. So we'll see how far I get. I think the panel that is up there is like a 60 to 65 watt panel and I believe that it was an add-on that you could um, buy with this model and I, I'm pretty sure that it's original to the trailer. Before we do anything I would like to check the MPPT charge controller and see what it's pulling on this nice sunny day. We've never seen it pull to my recollection beyond like 20 watts so I'm hoping that 200 watts of newer technology um, will support our batteries better. Today the gate traffic is very light and I feel like this is the right time even though I'm not feeling my best to get up there and check it out so let's go up. Normally um, when I gate guard or I'm on the gate or I'm outside near the gate I don't wear sandals um, but I'm going to today so I can kick out I don't like to wear shoes on the roof of the trailer. Maybe it's not working so well because we've never really taken the time to fully clean it. I brought something for you. Oh, look at the flirt on you. Oh. Don't, don't fall off the roof trying to get to it. <laughs> oh. Rooftop coffee. A couple sips, then you have to get back to work. I'm gonna dig at this a little bit with a putty knife. Let's see if I can expose the fastener. Well, this is interesting. I don't see anything in this hole. Do you think it's just glued? I don't know. I might find something in there further down, but for right now, this doesn't actually look to be having any sort of rivet head or screw head in it. I guess I won't know until I get into the other feet. We were worried we were going to leave holes behind from one panel solar panel configuration to a new solar panel configuration. Well, there's one. That solves that mystery. There is no fastener here. Did the scope of this project just get a lot easier? Do I have to re, like, put holes in the trailer? If this has been in here or up here mounted like this since 2006, I don't know. That'd be a lot easier. Number two is off. No fasteners, Andrew. Awesome. So that's two down, two to go? Yeah, and I'm wondering, can we replicate this in, in any way so that we don't have to put holes in the roof? I think the main thing is get the roof clean enough that the um, sealant will seal. Okay. One of the questions I have is if they ask us to leave this gate area tomorrow, the sealant yeah. may not be cured enough to hold them to the roof. I don't know. That's a calculated risk we may have to take. Onward! Well, she's up here disconnecting the last two. I'm going to go check to see what the full cure time on the Cicaflex is. All right, I'm gonna lift this very carefully. And the reason I wanna use care is, um, well, because this is my house, but also because I don't know how old these connectors truly are, and I really wanna be able to reuse them. So I'm gonna unplug this panel and put down two new ones. Huh. Well, it's dirty. So the feet are bolted onto the frame. But, but, they, but they, there is no screws going into the There's room. no screws going into the trailer. We can try. We can't stick the new panel to that big patch of dust in the middle. No, of course not. And then the other thing is, is um, I'd like to keep these feet. Oh, sure, yeah. Unless no, I think we're planning on reusing them. There's connectors here in a box, and then they run into the fridge compartment. And we want to disconnect here in the fridge. So Andrew has gone down under the trail, well, off the roof to the fridge compartment and he is going to see if I have enough slack to pull these out enough to try and disconnect them myself. Also it would be a lot easier if I had 
cut this zip tie first, but live and learn. There are these two little tabs. You gotta... You've turned off the switch, right? Yes. This one compresses really nice and easy. This one doesn't want to go. Let's see if Andrew's hands. Do that putty knife handy with the sharper edge. I'm wondering if I can just get it started with a little pie. Alright, I feel a little less feeble. I just don't want to go ham on it because yeah, it was I really tools. got it. Need those connectors. Yep. So I'm not climbing up and down on this roof needlessly. What I think I should do is clear off all the old sealant, really clean the area where I think the solar panels, the new ones, are going to go, and then I will climb down and mount the feet on the new ones. I'm just going to gently remove. This, I think I want to get, actually get a plastic scraper. This isn't my scraper. No, I, I have a, a narrow blue. I didn't, hey I didn't see it. I'm hoping you can make do with that one. Right. There's a little, little privacy wall here, so I can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Best way to clean this grit off. Can you get a wet rag? We need to accelerate this process, I think. I could use a little assist prepping because I think I want to be on the ground for shift change. Um, as people, it's a slow day, but there's still people working and their shift change is right around dinner, you know, dinner time. So I'd like to be on the ground, both of us for that time. I think so, yeah. All right, so let's get a very wet um, shop rag and a dry shop rag. It's two, if you want to separate them. Thank you. I brought a waste basket. Number one tool. Well, not just any paper towels. Well, that's true. I prefer these bougie shop ones, but. What a difference. Really shows though that I need to clean the roof. Just about done with the major cleaning. I have two more feet. Did the Renogy solar panels come with, I'm eating my hair. <laughs> it's a little breezy. Um, did the Renogy solar panels come with a template? Not as such, no. Uh, I think we have to use the box. Okay, because I would love to take while I'm up here the template and figure out where I want the panels to be. Last of coffee? Mm-hmm. Right. Is that an estimate on the side here? Well, we're not drilling holes. So while it'd be super annoying to have to like maneuver them, we're not putting holes in the trailer, which is a game changer. Op open the box, see what you got. Actually. They'll fit like that. <laughs> Subtract mentally the four inches of box pushing them apart. Yeah, so they would fit. I don't like getting on and off the trailer on the tiny awning side. I have the awning barrel roller to rest my feet against. I have the awning arm to sort of stabilize myself as I like fling my leg over. Uh, yeah, that's my preferred location. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send your wife right over. May have solved a little bit of a mystery here. This is a 135 watt panel, so we don't think it's stock factory installed. Our framing with the sewer tank behind you is um, very picturesque. So these are the brackets that came off of the, I guess not original, solar panel. I wanna clean them up and see if I can salvage and reuse them. So I'm going to scrape off the sticky and use denatured alcohol. Not immaculate, 
yet, but I have a little more to get off. Looks like you've got just about all of the old sealant off those. Andrew has started putting the brackets on the Renogy panels so that we can move this project along a little faster while I finish cleaning up the other brackets with denatured alcohol. I'm redoing the washer combination here. I needed a bigger washer than this one because the um, holes in this panel are bigger. And so I didn't like the way the washers went on the first one. I'm correcting it on this one. We were thinking about doing it 90 degrees to where they are so we could fit three. One here, one there, and one there. Yep. And the feet don't make full contact. Yep. So. I think it'd be better to do it. This way. This way. We won't fit one in the same dimension. We'll have to turn one. Yeah. I think that's a thing for later. I think we should roll with this. So we need to adjust those. So I think I want them as close together as possible. While you redo these brackets, I think I'm gonna go take a shower and get the dirt off of me. Okay, that makes sense. It's shift change for the rig. I can handle this groundwork um, and watch the gate. We can't be on the roof. I'm glad you're up early. I need to talk to you about something. Actually, it's two things. <laughs> Truck, I'll be right back. Um, okay, go ahead and take that sip because you're going to want to hear this. Okay. So the rumor is they may have us finish up with the crew that's finishing today. Okay. Um, has our manager called? No. Well, we don't need to borrow trouble. We don't work for the company man. We work for our guard company. And our guard company will tell us, I'm sure, very short notice when to move yep. and where we're moving or if we're moving, you know, there's no. So I guess we just need to wait and see. Yep. I just wanted to bring you the rumor and we'll wait and see what happens. Okay. All right. I've had one cup of coffee. I need a second cup for sure. But I'm going to show you this view from the top of the trailer. It is solar panel install day two. And for your enjoyment, I will pretend to be a drone. Side by side, this is the orientation that we are considering. What I need to do before I get, I don't know, sorry about the wind guys, I'm on the roof and it's Texas, so the wind is blowing, look at the hair. But what I can say is I need to disconnect and loosen where the wires are zip tied to the underside of the panel before I lose access. So I'm gonna do that right now. If for some reason my gate ends, I need to have these secured enough. It does take seven days for the, <clears throat> the sealant to fully seal. We could be moving this afternoon or even tomorrow or any time. I've loosened up the connectors now so they're loose and free. So we will connect them and run them through the fridge vent at a later time. Right now I need to figure out exactly where I want these panels to go. I need to high bond sticky tape each foot and then I need to um, use denatured alcohol and give everything a final swipe before I try and stick it down. And then I'm gonna gob on the sealant just like it was before. And we are going to hope that that does the trick. I'll give you a backbeat. On Left. task. They did not care about my beat. I don't know if you can hear me with the flare and the wind, but I'm still very congested and it's my second day doing this project and everyone keeps asking me if I have the cedars, which I think is a Texas thing because I don't know what that is, but when I Googled it, it's like cedar pollen in the air and it feels like you have a cold. Finding these not with screws or rivets holding them down has really changed the scope of this project for me mentally. It might be a catastrophic fail. These come flying off and we'll bring you with us. Additionally, the wiring harness for the Airstream runs down the center in the roof. And I really, I'm always sort of cautious because I don't want to drill into 
my wiring harness. I have the two feet lined up in this rivet line. If you think that rivet line on the other side is your best bet, use that. I'm going to come back and trim and handle more details, but I want to get the other side peeled and stuck. On the second panel, Andrew's helping me peel the feet and get it into place because he can reach from the ladder and he has a truck coming. Uh-oh. Let's not rush this. We'll just wait and seat the panel when you get back up here. You're eyeballing the gap? Yeah, I think that's probably fine. This is like one of those boat channels we like to watch, the sailing channels, where they try to cram themselves into an engine room or a, a tiny small space. All right, now we seal the feet. I have a snail tail here that we may need to clean up later. I don't want to touch it right now. If this needs more, I think we should revisit it when it's less sticky. Someone hit that speed bump too fast. They go wailing through and then they I think they forget from when they come in. Everybody's in a hurry to go home, get dinner, move on to the next thing, you know? And then ba bang. Ba bang. Well guys, we went for volume and those are very coated. See, that is so ugly and it's gonna get packed with like dust and brown like the rail here. It's gonna look so bad. It already looks so bad, but it is so gonna look worse. Wiring will be up next. But first, we should check for sealant needs and I think that could use a little bit more sealant, like clean up and some sealant. And then we should check in here because that other channel, Airstreamer, they have an awesome Airstream channel. You guys should go check it out. There is a weather strip in there that I bet you we don't have. I'm just gonna lean across the roof, cram my fingers in the, oh yeah. There is absolutely no gasketing or weather stripping in my fan lid, like none to work. I found this coffee. Someone abandoned it. It wasn't abandoned. I earned the privilege of my second cup of caffeine. I don't oh. think it's hot anymore. All right. Now that I've had a single cup of coffee, I'm on my second one. I've gotten some of my work done. What was the second thing you wanted to talk to me about? Work camping. We are work camping. Right. Um, it's going to be 110 here in the summer. Do you want to work camp here? Um, I want to make the money that I'm making. So there might be options for us to make comparable money to what we're making now. We're camping somewhere else that is not as hot. Oh. Okay. What did we learn? Let's see. We learned that our solar panel is not original and is not actually working effectively. Andrew cleaned it plugged it in, angled it at the right angles towards the sun, and he still couldn't get it to pull in more than 40-something watts. Yeah, it's supposed to be 135-watt panel. I can't get it past 45, 46 watts. But that means that it isn't original to the trailer. Also, we learned that that particular solar panel hadn't been screwed in or bolted, riveted, whatever, into the Airstream roof. And it had been there for a long, long time. So including the three years that we've owned this particular Airstream, that gave me hope that we could also do the same with our panels. It may not work out for us, yeah, but, but we'll take you with if, if it's a fail. We got an excavator, backhoe, something. Yep, yep. Heavy equipment. I'm like a little kid. I love watching construction vehicles. Yeah, you got to see the crane goes through earlier. It was great from the roof. I had a great view. Every time we film, the wind picks up. So sorry about the wind noise. I think that we're done for the day. We'll start this again tomorrow and we will tackle the wiring. Andrew and I have eight hours where we are jointly awake to manage gates and showers and, and that kind of stuff. I don't know why I said shower. Oh, it's true. I mean, you can't take a shower when the prince is asleep. Yeah. Um, I want to go take a shower right now, so I'm going to go do that. But um, And do up the, the dishes, the dust, and the helmet. It's, um, it's a lot. So anyway, what we're going to do is the wiring tomorrow. While I was showering, I was thinking about your thought of it being 110 degrees here during the summer and 
the prospect of doing something in a cooler location if we can stay on track or mostly on track um, with our financial goals I I think that's not a bad idea I mean the gate will still be here we could always come back to it if sure seasonally yeah we need to um do our research and see if we can come up with a good situation by the way we spent entirely too much time struggling yesterday trying to get those solar connections apart when we've got one of these which is a tool that you can clip over the solar connections and be able to pull them apart easily um i, I don't know why i wasn't thinking clearly this did come with some of the stuff we bought it's close quarters here in the fridge um access cabinet so i'm not sure i'll be able to film this in much detail but here's basically what i have to do um this is a new breaker switch for our solar system. Um, so right now, what we have is a main solar disconnect. Solar comes down from the roof, and these are our connections for our, our panels that we can connect on the ground. And it all runs through this switch. What I actually wanna do is remove this and install the breaker and switch instead here for these connections. So I've got to rewire this to be able to put it in place. The original solar connection in this cabinet from the original panel had this green wire nut on it. I wasn't really a big fan. It didn't have a switch in here. I added this ring connector um, on the back of that switch. So at least I had a solar cutoff switch. Um, right now, I've added the solar connections off the lines coming off the roof. Next up, I'm gonna put solar connections on this end so that I can connect the other end of the fuse to the lines that go down into the trailer and into the MPPT. My next goal is to try to work the slack up and out of here so that I've got it to go around the corner to the solar panels. Um, I should be able to lock the wires down here so it won't get into this fin. This will do two things. It'll give me slack to get over there, but it'll also lift the fuse panel up against the side of the Airstream uh, fridge cabinet. I'd like to mount the breaker up on the wall here in the fridge cabinet if I can. I've got the panels covered. I've made the connections up top here. I'm gonna go back down and I've got the breaker off in the fridge cabinet. So that's the next step is to make those final connections and flip the breaker on. I've got the connections made, I've got the switch on, and I'm seeing some wattage coming through the solar panels. Now, it's not anywhere near the 200 that under optimal conditions we might see, um, given that it's fairly uh, early in the morning and it's still pretty overcast. I expect we'll be able to see better numbers this afternoon as the sun breaks through and sun gets a little higher. Um, but right now, um, I'm happy that I'm seeing some wattage and everything seems to be hooked up correctly. The sun is high overhead. We're making about 150 watts right now. Um, for panels that aren't angled towards the sun, I think that's um, that's pretty good. And I think this is well worth the investment. I think these are gonna support our batteries a lot better than the previous single panel that we had up here. 